Good afternoon, good evening to everybody. This is a caravan update as information is breaking in through the information that we gave you guys in the morning about a speculated caravan coming on the 30th of June. Now, uh, how's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News and America's Voice. God bless my country of Mexico, my city of Tijuana, and God bless the United States of America. How's everybody doing? Good evening to everybody. As we were broadcasting this morning, giving you guys the news about a speculated caravan that has already been confirmed. This caravan is being moved by the activist Carlos Villagran, an activist that has been known uh, socially uh, through social media and around the world. This activist is uh, speculated to be paid by organizations right the United States of America and also uh, the left political party of the Democrat Party and socialists around our country of Mexico and the Democrat Party in the United States of America. This is an update that referring to the information that we gave you guys in the morning. The information that we gave you guys in the morning is that this activist, Carlos Villagran, it is moving a large caravan of people through Central America that is coming from Panama. Around 70,000 migrants, they are awaiting for the reopening of the borders around Honduras, around El Salvador, around Guatemala, around Panama, around Costa Rica. That is the number that they're saying, 70,000 migrants. Around those 70,000 migrants, they're giving a percentage of 30% of those 70,000, they are infected with COVID, that they have done positive with COVID. Now, this is breaking information that is coming directly from our colleague, Carlos Mejia Lopez, in Tapachula, that he got in contact with the journalist in Guatemala, tri giving a triangle of information to us. He's saying, around 2,000 migrants, they are spread in the region of the jungle, better known as El Darien. This uh, region, El Darien, is located in Panama. They have been reported people are getting infected with COVID in really precarious uh, situations. And these are maintaining themselves in Central America. According to reports from the General uh, Direction of Migration of Foreign in, in Costa Rica, the foreigners are looking to advance into the places of Honduras and also to Guatemala to intend to connect with the other caravan that is exiting and going to the borders of Mexico in the 30th of June. According to this report, the contingency has been known that in this, that in this 2,000 people of caravan, 38 Cubans have, got, have uh, given positive uh, to have tested positive to COVID. Out of these 38 Cubans in this caravan of 2,000 people that is coming from El Darien, Panama, 23% are children, which are male and female. And teenagers, a lot of them are unaccompanied children. Then the teenagers, the majority of them are tested positive. The migrants do not desire to stay in Panama. They wanna to go to Costa Rica and also from there ultimately go to the north. But they don't know which border are they heading to because all the borders are closed right now. El Darien, the part that they are located at, reports that there is a really bad temperature and climate over there between the borders of Panama and Colombia. And these borders, there are three shelters and three stations of migration centers, which they shelter each and one of them, 1,991 people. The majority of them are people from Haiti, Cubans, Africans, and people from Asia. The foreigners 
they are looking for the opportunity to exit and whatever moment due to the polit to the uh, situations the political situations right now in Central America and they're looking to cross to the Canal of Panama looking forward to not detain themselves with no stopping them through the National Guard of whatever country. How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News and America's Voice. This is a caravan update for everybody that is watching. Yes, people, a lot of people are saying, when is this going to stop? And it's not going to stop because Mexico is in the global compact of immigration. As I mentioned in the morning, meanwhile, Mexico is in this global compact of immigration they are going to use our country of Mexico as a trampoline to get to the United States of America. Carlos Villagran, the, ex, the activist that is in the caravan, he said, this is not a caravan. This is an exodus from all their countries looking for a better one. Stop calling it a caravan. That's what he said. This is an exodus. For everybody that is watching, I just said that around 2,000 migrants they are located in the part of El Darien in Panama. These uh, migrants, they have been reported that a lot of them are, uh, are infected with COVID. You got in this caravan, 38 Cubans that they have uh, tested positive for coronavirus. And in this 2000 people caravan that they're walking from Panama through Costa Rica and all the way up to the Triangle of Central America, 20, 20, 23 percent of them are children, kids, uh, male and female, and a lot of them are unaccompanied minors. All these unaccompanied minors have the majority of them have tested positive for the COVID. Amazing people, amazing. Now, as we gave information in the morning of this activist Carlos Villagran that rumors are that the Democrat Party and the Socialist Party from the United States the Democrats are paying this activist Carlos Villagran to instigate and motivate migrants to move through this precarious conditions and to move to the borders of Mexico and from there move all the way up to the north and to Mexico to try to migrate and cross uh, illegally to the United States of America or ask for the political asylum or for the refugee. Now, as they are saying, 2,000 migrants are located right now in El Darien, Panama, which the majority of them are walking all the way up to the Triangle of Central America. 38 of them have tested positive that they're Cubans. 23% of this caravan that is coming from Panama uh, is uh, children, male and female, and also teenagers, unaccompanied teenagers, that they have tested positive for COVID. Now, this activist, Carlos Villagran, he just went on a statement yesterday saying that more than 70,000 migrants are awaiting for the reopening of the borders of El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala, Panama, Costa Rica. More than 70,000 there are awaiting for the reopening of the borders of all of these Central American uh, countries for them to start moving and start migrating to uh, our country of Mexico and the borders of Tapachula. This is the problem that I told you guys. There's going to be a spread again of COVID due to the lack of testing and due to the lack of the medical department of every country and the irresponsibility of every country of containing and maintaining migrants every time that a caravan arrives. This global compact of immigration is nothing by damaging the lives of people that they are, they're migrating through precarious scenarios and jungles, deserts, seas, and containing and also getting infected with a lot of infections. Right now, the most important one is COVID. That you that this caravan that they are saying in Panama that is located in El Darien, Panama, it's amazing how a certain amount of percentage, 28%, are children, and the majority of them are unaccompanied children that 
they, the teenagers are more uh, likely to get infected and they're more likely infected already by COVID. All of this is coming to the borders of Mexico, to Tapachula, Mexico, and all of this is still coming to the United States of America. Ultimately, their goal is to get to the United States of America and to land at the borders that connect from Mexico to the United States of America. I will do this report as soon as I finish this English video. I will do my uh, news in Spanish in a few moments for those people that want to watch this report on Spanish. The one that I just did in the morning in English, I will do exactly the one in Spanish. God bless you all for this uh, sharing of this video. Share my video and uh, share this information. For everybody that does not believe my video, you know, you can go and check actual, uh, actual uh, information in Central America. God bless you all. <coughs> God bless you all. Follow my page at YouTube as Oscar L. Blue. Also, you can follow my Facebook page, my, my public figure page as Oscar Blue. Also, you can follow my partner, Conservative Anthony, at his Facebook page and also at his YouTube page as Conservative Anthony. God bless you all. Stay safe. And always remember, peace and love, everybody. Because always, your country is first.